So one thing that we know is if we have something like y equals um, a sine k x plus b plus c or something like that, um, we know that this guy here is going to um, help us find the period. Okay, and so what I'm going to see is that if I have sine of 4 pi x, then this number here in front of the x, that is the value of the k that's going to help us determine the period. And I look at my other function and it is sine of 2 pi x. And so I can see that that number there in front of that is uh, going to help us determine the period. So the period of this one is always going to be 2 pi over that number. So 2 pi over 4 pi, which is 1 half. And the period of this one <coughs> is 2 pi over 2 pi, which is 1. Okay, so I can see that... Uh, this one has a shorter period. So it's going to complete one period in one half of the time that this one completes a period. So the larger that k is, the faster it's going to go. So, so this one here is one half is when it completes its period. And then, and then so this is uh, the, the blue one, right? So it completes its period each one half unit. And so this is, whoops. So that means this is a 1, okay? And then this red one here is this function, that, okay? And then I know that, uh, so this one here is sine of 2 pi x, and this blue one here is sine of 4 pi so I can separate those between those two. And then the value of B and D I already labeled there. The value of A is going to be halfway between 0 and 1 half, which is 1 fourth. And the value of C is going to be halfway between 1 half and 1, which is 3 fourths. Number um, 13 says I want to find the equation of the line that intersects the x-axis at an angle of pi over 3 radians and passes through the point 5, 6. Um, and then it says give exact values for slope and y-intercept along with the equation of the line. So one thing we might rem recall here is that the tangent of theta is the y over x. And so, um, so really the tangent of theta is going to be the slope of this line, okay? And tangent of pi over three, when I enter this into my calculator, make sure I'm in radian mode. Tangent of pi over three, oops, is 1.732, says to round to two decimals, so 1.73, and that's my slope. And then I know my point on my line is this. And so if I have a slope and a point, I can use the point-slope form. y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. And I can plug in my x1 and y1 and my slope m. So y minus 6 equals 1.73 x minus 5. And that's the equation of my line. Number 14, given the tangent function that passes through the points 0, 0, and uh, pi over 8, 6, with asymptotes as shown. So I want to find a possible formula of this form, right? And so what I can see, first of all, is that the uh, midline, I guess, of this tangent function is the x-axis, so that means that c equals 0. 
Um, the other thing I can notice, it, so in other words, I just have f of t is equal to a tangent of bt. Okay. And I know that when um, t equals 0, um, okay, so let's see here. Um, so b deals with the period of this function. And so I know that the period is equal to the regular period, which is pi, divided by b. And in this case, um, our regular our period here is from negative pi over 4 to pi over 4, so that's 2, or it's pi over 2. So pi over 2 is equal to pi over b, which tells me that b equals 2. So I've got that. Okay, and then this a here is telling me the amplitude. Okay, and so usually halfway between the zero and the asymptote would be our um, the value of one, but here the height is six, and so it's we've had a vertical stretch. We've had a vertical stretch. By a factor is six, and uh, the the uh, way in which it's pointing. So it goes, you know, as I go move from left to right, it's increasing each time. Um, is is normal for a tangent function, so it's not a negative six. So that tells me that a is equal to six, positive six. And so my function then is f of t is equal to 6 tangent of 2t. Okay. All right, last one. Sketch the graph of a transformed tangent function with vertical asymptotes at every odd integer and passing through the points, those points given here. Use your graph to find a possible formula of this tangent function. Okay, so it needs asymptotes at every odd integer. So I'll draw some asymptotes. And it needs to contain the points um, 0, 1, and point 0.5, negative 3. So it's doing something like this. Whoops. So the first thing I will notice is that my axis here um, has been shifted up one unit. So that tells me that C is equal to one. So finding that midline is usually the easiest thing to do. So I know it goes through the, uh, that point. Um, the other thing is I know my period is uh, two. So period is two. And my period, I know, is pi over b. So pi over b equals 2. So pi equals 2b. So b is equal to pi over 2. So that's another one. And then how can I find my a? Well, the a is going to deal with the amplitude. And so I can look at when it goes through the midline versus where it hits here. And I can see that distance is 1, 2, 3, 4. And also I can notice that as I move from left to right, my function is decreasing, it's going down. And so it's going to be, um, and so that's, that's a flip uh, from the usual graph of tangent. And so that tells me that a is equal to negative 4. And so I can write down my function f of t is equal to negative 4 tangent of pi over 2t plus 1.
So that's my final answer. And there's my graph.